is uh, show me the money. Yeah, I, 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 I would like to um, thank Sandra, Sandra Robinson, Executive Director of uh, the Citizens Coalition, uh, for inviting me here today. Uh, and this is the 30th uh, anniversary of the first uh, uh, Poor People's Day in Georgia. And so she should be commended uh, for that uh, uh, important uh, feat that uh, persists to this day. So let's give her a hand. I'm, I'm here, ladies and gentlemen, to support the battle against uh, poverty. All right. The quest for fair and living wages. Yeah. And an end to hunger. Yeah. All right. And homelessness as well. Yes. That's why in Congress, I'm not the darling of the uh, of the uh, <laughs> Chamber of Commerce crowd. He's not a blue dog, y'all. Yeah. 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 I ain't yeah. a blue dog. Okay. We got something I am, uh, I am pro labor, pro worker, All right. pro consumer, All right. pro poor people. That's who I represent in Congress, across this country. And I also speak for the uh, issues that call for fairness of our treatment of people all around the world. Now, now like, uh, like President Obama and uh, the majority in Congress, uh, I'm focused on creating jobs and revitalizing our yes. economy. All right. Yes. But quite frankly, it's kind of difficult to do that when uh, after $700 billion of uh, taxpayer uh, bailout money to, to Wall Street, yes. uh, and they are now back in the partying mode, giving themselves uh, millions and millions of dollars in bonuses while people are, are on the streets are, are suffering, starving, no uh, place to live. And if you've got a place to live, it's hard to pay the, the uh, house note. Foreclosures, foreclosures up 27% January over January of 2009. Things are, are tough out here. And even though the number of jobs being lost are, is down, it's still hurting for uh, so many people. And so I'm in Congress to uh, put America back to work. Yes. Yes. All right. And uh, that's why I support the uh, Put America Back to Work Act of 2009, introduced by my colleague Keith Ellison. And that act will create jobs immediately. Yay! You took $700 billion 